we're going to do a little test. We're going to measure the length of our throw line. So we're going to set a 10 foot span here. Can you show it on the tape, Chris? So we'll set a 10 foot span between this pole and this pole right here. Okay, I've already done this, but just to show what we're going to do. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, All right, 60 PSI, 12 ounce throw ball, zing it, the thin stuff, 1.75. We're going to insert it. Remember, there's the crossbar down there, so you push it until it stops. 60 PSI, the valve is in the on or arm position. Schrader is exposed. Line side at 100 feet to the pole. We're going to shoot it straight up in the air, and we're going to focus on the pole so that you can see the line go taut. Take it from the bag. We're gonna add one, two, three, four, five. We're gonna add five loops to it or another fifty feet. marker that's at 150 feet we're going to remove this from the pole go ahead and secure it 150 foot test oh, we've got 150 foot of line tied to the spike we're at uh, just over 90 psi about 92 93 there 12 ounce ball again we're going to use the proper loading technique we're going to get down barrel away from us ramrod to push it, making sure we have a firm grip of the barrel and that we're not going to press the red ball valve into the firing position. When loaded, we'll make sure that we're clear of all the throw line, so it's not on our hand, uh, not under our feet. And we're going to point it straight up in the air again, 90 PSI, and we're going to see if we can put 150 feet of line up in the air here. Firing on one. Two, three. There's 150 feet of zing it into the air uh, with the APTA 64 Special. APTA 64 Special.